What's going on guys? So a little update on my 2022 Lowrider ST. Got up my uh, first stage of mods done, uh, preparing for the next. So a couple things I did to the bike. Um, threw on this uh, SNS Air Stinger intake. Uh, it's got the teardrop cover with the uh, their little updated thing here. I don't know if it breathes any better than the original uh, Stealth with the mini teardrop cover, uh, but I think it looks cool. So threw that on there, as you can see, much better clearance. Uh, that other thing, man, that was just a terrible design. Um, that and the Bung, Bung King crash bar. Uh, install on the Bung King crash bar, uh, very easy. Um, I did have to add the SNS brake lever kit since I'm going with the uh, SNS Super Street exhaust. So that did make it where it it felt like I needed three hands um, to hold everything in place as I got this thing mounted up. But uh, now the crash bar works as a forward foot rest pretty well, as well as you would expect. Um, when I'm wearing boots, my heel does kind of sit up against the brake lever or the brake pedal. So I need to make sure I'm not uh, engaging the brake and making my uh, tail light come on while I'm using that, but it works well. Uh, definitely a, a more comfortable riding position when you want to move your feet around. Um, and actually the other more standout thing here is this Whiplash Speedco um, Slipstream seat. This seat, I love the looks of this. I was a little bit worried that the brown on it would be too light, um, but I really like the brown. It's the bomber brown accent and it's got the bronze double diamond stitching. The way that I ordered this seat was, um, it's the slipstream seat, double diamond stitching on driver and passenger sections in bronze, bomber brown accent. And this seat, man, it looks incredible. I mean, as you can tell, I will say that the seating position, if you see the profile of the seat, the seating position is lower than the factory seat. I don't like that because I kind of like to be up high on this bike. As we've, as I discussed in my previous video, the philosophy behind this bike is to be a bit more sporty. So the lower you sit in the bike, the more, you know, cruisery it feels. And so since I'm going with the eight inch risers, it kind of makes me question whether I actually need eight inch because in the position that I am right there, I'm not really reaching down very much for these um, handlebars. Six and a half might be all right. I don't know. I'm going to run with the eights, see how it feels. If I don't like it, I'll go, I'll pull back to six and a halves. So took the bags off for this video so you could get more of a profile shot of this, the seat. I mean, uh, man, that thing looks really good. Uh, I'm going to get out and do a little bit of riding today. Next update will be exhaust and cam. Got a couple other things on order, mini floorboards, a lay down license plate frame, because this billboard on the back is hideous, as everyone has pointed out. Um, and then of course, to remove the reflectors. So all of that's coming. Uh, but yeah, just a little update. Bike is awesome, man. I just really can't, I really can't put into words uh, how cool this bike is how fun it is to ride. So yeah, thanks for checking it out. Like, subscribe, comment with any questions. Uh, cheers, guys.